Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to go about resolving the Windows 10 or Windows 11 update error message 0x80070057. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Just left click on the start button or the search menu just to open up the menu here. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result should come back or registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create a backup, it is very simple. All you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select File and then the Import button and then navigate to the file location. So now that that's out of the way, we're ready to begin. And we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. So double click on that. Do the same thing now for the software folder. And then you want to go down to Microsoft and double click on it. Go down to Windows. So we're going to scroll down again here. And double click on the Windows folder. And now there should be a current version folder under here. Just left click on that one time. And if you need to take note of our file path, it's up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different sub key that we've went under to get to this point. And now on the right side, you want to locate a string value that says Program Files DIR. Go ahead and open that up by just double clicking on it. Now you want to make sure value data is set to your main hard drive here. So in our case, it's a C drive. And there's a hyphen backslash Program Files. So you want to type in your hard drive and then it's a colon backslash Program Files, as you see on my screen here. So this is where your program files should be saved on your computer. If you need to open up File Explorer and select this PC on the left side, you can see whatever your local disk or wherever you might have your program files are. You want to go ahead and make sure that letter inside the parentheses here is that letter. So again, it should be the C drive for most of you guys. It may be a different letter in some cases. That's why I would suggest coming in here if you're unsure of where your program file folder is. And then it should be a backslash program space files, as you see it on my screen. And you want to select OK. And then once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close out of the registry editor. And I would suggest restarting your computer. And hopefully at this point your issue has been resolved. Open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, check them back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, go ahead and type in SFC, followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient.
And once that's done, you can go ahead and close out of here. Open up the search menu. Type in troubleshoot. Best match to go back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, underneath options, select other troubleshooters. And then underneath most frequent, select the Windows Update troubleshooter and the run button. And then hopefully that would have been able to automatically resolve the issue. So again, pretty straightforward process here, guys. Do I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.